He is known for his important contributions to physical chemistry, economics, and philosophy. He is recognized for his pioneering work in chemical kinetics and the theory of fiber diffraction analysis. He argued against positivism and developed the concepts of tacit knowledge and polycentric spontaneous order. His name is Michael Polanyi. In the realm of knowledge and understanding, Michael Polanyi stood as a beacon of wisdom, challenging the prevailing belief in positivism. Born in Hungary, Polanyi was a man of many talents, making significant contributions to physical chemistry, economics, and philosophy. His relentless pursuit of knowledge led him to uncover the flaws in the positivist account of knowing. With a keen interest in physical science, Polanyi delved into various areas such as chemical kinetics, X-ray diffraction, and the adsorption of gases. He revolutionized the field of fiber diffraction analysis and introduced the groundbreaking theory of dislocation in the deformation of metals. His expertise earned him prestigious positions, including a professorship at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute in Berlin and later at the University of Manchester. However, it was in the realm of philosophy that Polanyi truly made his mark. He challenged the notion that observers could be perfectly impartial, highlighting the inherent imperfections in the positivist perspective. Polanyi believed that true knowing went beyond detached observation and required a recognition of the subjective elements inherent in the process. His groundbreaking concept of tacit knowledge and his advocacy for a polycentric spontaneous order in intellectual inquiry stood as a resounding rebuttal to the central planning that dominated the social sciences. Through his relentless pursuit of truth and his deep understanding of various disciplines, Michael Polanyi emerged as a philosopher who questioned the limitations of positivism. His ideas continue to inspire generations, reminding us that true knowledge embraces the complexities of human subjectivity and the interconnectedness of various fields of study. In the bustling city of Budapest, a young boy named Michael Polanyi grew up in a family of intellectuals and entrepreneurs. Born as Mihai Polakcek, he was the fifth child of Mihai and Cecilia Polakcek, both secular Jews with roots in the Russian Empire. As the son of a successful railway builder, Michael's early life was filled with privilege and opportunity. However, tragedy struck the family when bad weather caused a railway project to go over budget, leading to the loss of their fortune. Michael's father, the driving force behind the Hungarian railway system, passed away in 1905, leaving behind a legacy of ambition and determination. Despite these hardships, Michael's mother, Cecilia, established a renowned salon that attracted Budapest's intellectual elite. Surrounded by thinkers and artists, young Michael was immersed in a world of ideas and deep conversations from an early age. Little did he know that this exposure would shape his own philosophical journey. Growing up alongside his older brother Carl, who would later become a prominent political economist and anthropologist, Michael was no stranger to intellectual pursuits. His niece, Eva Zeisel, would also go on to achieve worldwide fame as a ceramist. The Polanyi family was a breeding ground for creativity and critical thinking. As Michael ventured into the realm of philosophy, he delved into the complexities of knowledge and the nature of human understanding. His work would later become known for its emphasis on personal knowledge, a concept that challenged the prevailing belief in purely objective knowledge. Michael Polanyi believed that our personal experiences and tacit knowledge played a vital role in how we make sense of the world. His philosophy may seem abstract, but it holds practical implications for our daily lives. In a world that often prioritizes cold, hard facts, Polanyi reminds us of the importance of intuition, subjective experiences, and the value of personal engagement. He encourages us to embrace the idea that our own perspectives and insights matter in the pursuit of understanding. Michael Polanyi's early life in Budapest shaped his intellectual journey, paving the way for his groundbreaking philosophy on personal knowledge. From the loss of his family's fortune to the vibrant salon culture that nurtured his curiosity, every experience contributed to the formation of his unique perspective. Today, we can draw inspiration from his ideas as we navigate the complexities of knowledge and seek a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. In 1908, Michael Polanyi, a young and ambitious student, graduated from the Minta Gymnasium, a teacher training secondary school. With a thirst for knowledge and a passion for learning, he set his sights on pursuing a career in medicine. He enrolled at the University of Budapest, where he dedicated himself to his studies and immersed himself in the world of medicine. In 1914, his hard work paid off as he proudly obtained his medical diploma. But Polanyi's thirst for knowledge was insatiable, and he sought to expand his horizons beyond the realm of medicine. He became an active member of the Galileo Circle, a community of intellectuals and scholars who engaged in stimulating discussions and debates. It was during this time that he formed connections and received support from influential figures like Ignac Pfeiffer, a renowned chemistry professor at the Royal Joseph University of Budapest. 
With Pfeiffer's backing, Polanyi secured a scholarship to study chemistry at the prestigious Technische Hochschule in Karlsruhe, Germany. This opportunity allowed him to delve deeper into the world of science and develop his understanding of chemical processes. Little did he know that this experience would shape his future and pave the way for his groundbreaking contributions to philosophy. However, the path to knowledge was not without its challenges. The First World War erupted, and Polanyi found himself serving as a medical officer in the Austro-Hungarian army. Sent to the Serbian front, he witnessed the horrors of war firsthand. But even amidst the chaos and destruction, his passion for learning prevailed. On sick leave in 1916, he seized the opportunity to write a PhD thesis on adsorption, a topic that intrigued him greatly. His research caught the attention and admiration of none other than Albert Einstein, who encouraged him to pursue his scientific endeavors. Under the guidance of Gustav Buchbach, Polanyi completed his doctoral studies. In 1919, his hard work and dedication were recognized as the Royal University of Pest awarded him a doctorate. Michael Polanyi, a renowned philosopher and scientist, had experienced a life filled with upheaval and transformation. Born in Budapest, Hungary, he found himself in the midst of political turmoil when the Hungarian Democratic Republic was established in 1918. Polanyi became secretary to the Minister of Health, but when the Communists seized power in 1919, he returned to medicine. The tides of political change continued to shape Polanyi's life. When the Hungarian Soviet Republic was overthrown, he made the difficult decision to immigrate to Germany, seeking refuge in Karlsruhe. It was there that he received an invitation from Fritz Haber to join the prestigious Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Phaserstoffchemie in Berlin. In 1923, Polanyi underwent a personal transformation, converting to Christianity and marrying Magda Elizabeth Kemeny in a Roman Catholic ceremony. Polanyi's academic and professional journey led him to become the professorial head of the department of the Institut für Physikalische Chemie und Elektrochemie in 1926. He and Magda welcomed their son John in 1929, who would later receive a Nobel Prize in chemistry. Polanyi's expertise and influence extended beyond the realm of science, as his other son, George Polanyi, became a prominent economist. The tumultuous events of the 1930s forced Polanyi to confront the social and economic challenges of his time. Witnessing rampant inflation and high unemployment in Weimar Germany, he developed a keen interest in economics. In 1933, with the rise of the Nazi party, Polanyi accepted a position in physical chemistry at the University of Manchester in England. Polanyi's intellectual pursuits expanded further during his time at Manchester University. Recognizing his growing interest in the social sciences, the university established a new chair in social science specifically for him. His influence as a thinker and educator continued to grow, as two of his students, Eugene Wigner and Melvin Calvin, would go on to win Nobel Prizes. Despite his contributions and accomplishments, Polanyi's life was not without danger. His name appeared on the Nazis' special search list, earmarked for arrest in the event of a German invasion of Great Britain. However, he persevered and in 1944, he was elected a member of the prestigious Royal Society. Upon his retirement from the University of Manchester in 1958, he was elected a senior research fellow at Merton College, Oxford. Polanyi's enduring legacy as a philosopher and scientist is a testament to his resilience and intellectual curiosity. His life was marked by constant change and adaptation, and he never shied away from exploring new fields of knowledge. As he once famously stated, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion, capturing his belief in the cyclical nature of existence and the importance of embracing change. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.